Between Ashkelon and Kiryat Malahi, there was an ancient road that connected Gaza to Jerusalem. During the Ottoman period, there were Arab villages in the area. Three villages called Al Sawafer, Al Sawafer Al Arabia, were built on top of an ancient settlement from the Byzantine period. Some attribute it to the settlement of Shafir from Bible times. The British built a bridge over the Lachish River, called the Swaper Bridge, after the villages around it, later renamed the Arches Bridge due to its shape. Slightly to the south, the village of Abdis. To the west, the Arab village of Jules sat on the ruins of an ancient settlement. During World War II, the British built the Jules camp near the village. Which was the largest military base in the south, and next to it, another military camp, the Hassa camp. They paved the road between Ashkelon and what is today called Malahi Junction. During the War of Independence, the British left the country, handing over the Julis camp to the Arabs who bought it. In Operation Barak, a force from the Gavati Brigade attacked the villages of Sufer al Arabia and Sufer al Sharkia. In order to control the Negev and Near Am traffic routes, and to create a line of defense against the Egyptian invasion. The villages were conquered, and their inhabitants abandoned and doubtfully expelled, and the villages destroyed. Following the declaration of the State of Israel, the Egyptian army invaded and captured Julis. Before the first truce, Gavati forces took over Julis, and its residents were abandoned or deported. The IDF planned to break through the Egyptian line that cut off the Negev and controlled Road 35 further south of Road 3. The day before the end of the truce, the Egyptian forces attacked and tried to improve positions. For several days, the Egyptians, in a number of attacks, tried to occupy Julis, but the defenders managed to fend them off. At the same time, The IDF's Gavati Brigade succeeded in capturing the hills near Abdis and defending against the Egyptian attacks. After the war, Mashiv near Yisrael was established by Jewish immigrants from Czechoslovakia and Hungary. Named after Israel Tiber, one of the founders of Gavatayim, a wealthy donor. On the lands of Julis, a Mashiv Hodia was established, so named because the settlers were Jewish immigrants from India. The Julis camp served for many years as an IDF armored school. Its name was changed to the Emanuel camp and it continued to be used for training purposes. On Swaper lands, a number of settlements were established. The religious kibbutz Masuat Yitzhak began in Gush Etzion south of Jerusalem, during the War of Independence, was captured and its members captured by the Jordanians. After their return, they established a cooperative Mashiv. Named after Rabbi Yitzchak Isaac Halevi Herzog. Kibbutz Ein Tezorim also began in Gush Etzion, and its captured people established it after their return. And Mashiv Shapir, named after the ancient settlement. The Shapira Center was initially a farm, after about 10 years, it became an educational and settlement center, named after Minister Moshe Shapira. Who was seriously injured in the throwing of the grenade in the Knesset, in Parliament, in 1957?